Well, hello, uh, YouTubers and IK Media musicians and users. This is a really quick tutorial video on installing uh, Sample Tank 3. Uh, I don't know how the install goes for other people who have done it, but there are a couple little, uh, I don't know if you call them tricks or hints, to remember uh, whether you get the downloaded version or whether you buy the disc. It seems that either way you're going to have to install the files. And uh, for Windows 10, this is what I found. Um, first of all, I downloaded mine. The downloads are take a long time, so don't think that you're going to use it at all um, for the first couple days because you have to literally uh, download all the zips, unpack all the zips, and while we're on unpacking, uh, I have found that Windows Extraction will not unpack many of the zips. I can tell you for sure on Philharmonic that it will not unpack the zip. So you'll get an error code. You pretty much have to use 7-zip. I use 7-zip to unpack everything. Works just fine. Then after you unpack it, all those folders, which is about 30 folders, you have to individually install, which is what you see going on here. Currently installing drum and bass uh, electronica. Um, I got the total max, so I'm installing um, Sample Tank 3 Max right now and it is 92 percent. Uh, this is the trick with that. When you install these you want to take the folder and just throw it in your C drive, like just in the C drive literally, um, as opposed to within a subfolder. Like I originally tried to go and put it in IK Media subfolder in program files and didn't. I got an error code it wouldn't, wouldn't work so it didn't install correctly. Uh, so, and this is also from technical, technical support at IK Media, said just put it right directly in your C drive, right there with everything. So I threw it in there, and um, it still, uh, I got a different one saying it couldn't create a folder. I guess it has to create a folder. Um, and so what I'm going to show you right now is you need to, and I'll show you really quick on, on so you know what to look for, you need to basically just um, right click on the install, execute, and choose uh, to run it as administrator. Because if you notice when you don't, if you, just, if you just click on it, double click on it, you will not get the normal prompt saying, you know, do you want to install this? Um, so it's kind of reversal. You got to do it yourself. You got to right click on it and run it as administrator. Um, and then you'll get a nice, nice long install that you see here. I'll show you what happens really quick. Let this finish. I'm really, really, I'm really excited. To, I mean, I got the Billy Cobham drum set. I got the Neil Peart drum set, cinematic percussion. I mean, that thing looks, sounds awesome from what I've seen. Um, oh my goodness. So I'm just, I'm stoked. I just can't wait to, I can't wait to play with this stuff. But installation, it's been a week. I've been able to play. I've been playing Sample Tank. And there you see it was installed correctly. Let me show you really quick what happens if you don't. So here's uh, my next install would be Hardcore Sound. And I'm just going to left click on it. And you're going to get the same. This will guide you through. Continue. Agree. Agree. Continue. Install. Now, know how fast, see how fast that went? And this is what you get. Installation failed. Unable to copy instruments. And so you'll be like, damn! Damn, I want to play this! So there you go, right click, run as administrator. Uh, yes, continue, agree, continue, install. And now you'll see that this is moving very slow. What happens is it moves pretty slow until it gets to like, well decent, until it gets like 80%, then it really slows down at about 80% and starts to do whatever it does. But each install should take like four or five minutes. So that's it. Remember, unpack everything, put it on your C drive, like literally just throw it in there, and you need to right click uh, and choose administrator for the install. And then you will be happy, happy, happy.